Welcome back to Hometown TCG, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh. And I'm John. And we are here with our initial thoughts on the Monarch Champions, and it's time to talk Leviah. But before we do, if you're new to the mm. channel, if you haven't subbed yet, click the sub button below. We're trying to race to 500. Help us out. We appreciate everyone who has. Let's get into our new brute. Oh man, so Leviah, I don't think there's anything that sums her up better than Smash with Smash Big Tree. Big Tree! <laughs> All right, she has got some powerful attacks. Uh, she's got stronger attacks than Reinar does. Yes. Um, but she obviously has the blood debt mechanic that she has to work around. Uh, so I think that uh, she is going to have an extremely strong mid game. I think so too. And I think she's going to be, much like Reinar plays right now, she's going to play okay into everything, provided she can meet mm -hmm. certain criteria, right? She can turn off that blood deck, you build that deck correctly. Mm -hmm. I feel like she can, she can sit right in the middle of the meta. Yeah, so if I'm building her, yes. man, I'm trying to go even higher six damage count than I would with Reinar. 70%? Like 70% 75 maybe. 75 maybe? Like, it's got to be a super high number because you need to hit those things. A turn late game where you don't turn off blood debt, it, it could be game over. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that could be enough to lose the game right there. Mm -hmm. So you almost have to guarantee. But that means you got to block each turn too, right? Yes, yeah. So uh, Classic Brute does block and like swing a weapon. Sure. But that kind of brings us to the weapons themselves. Right. So, so the first one, the the meat axe. I think that one early game, you just block and swing that until you kind of get stuff set up to yeah. really get rolling. So you can build up that graveyard to banish some of those mm -hmm. six costs. Really turn off your blood debt, maybe turn on some of your bigger attacks that require that banish. But we did discover a little bit of a a nombo, a non combo with her majestic weapon. The was it Hexagor? Hexagor. Yeah, Hexagor. So Hexagor is so bad without go again because. You need that blood debt in the graveyard, but without go again, it doesn't banish a six cost card, meaning you're taking that six damage as blood debt. Yes, so like you're saying, the only way that Hexagor is playable is if you have go again. So you may be playing uh, six copies of, uh, what's it called? The ripping apart. Oh, the Dread, Dread Screamer. Screamer. Yes. Uh, so you may have to play a bunch of those. That's such a brutal card. It really oh. is, that card's nasty. Uh, so you may be playing six copies six of Dread of those, Screamers to give you the go again. Uh, you have the the boots, the new ones, or rolling scab skin a lot. Honestly, it, it feels like you may be rolling you, scab skin a lot. You might roll scab skin on Leviathan <laughs> every turn. So, so I feel I feel like maybe if you're rolling Hexagore, okay, if you're going that strategy. Sure, sure, sure. You're gonna have to run the the one cost big attacks. Um, I can't think of the name of that one either. Oh, I, so I know you're running, yes. So you're running that, and you have to roll Scabskin. And if you if you get like a two or three, you just do that attack for your turn, banish the six. And if you get a four, five, or six, you do that into your Hexagore. Okay. And that's a massive turn. That's it's doing, huge. That's, that's doing 12, 12 damage, damage with three cards. Right, so that's a really good turn, but it is conditional on that dice roll. And Gambler's Gloves is only useful once, right? Yes. So uh, benefit is you get unique cards. Like, you know, if you're playing Brute, you do get unique cards like Arc Smash. Arc Smash. Um, obviously, you'll still play the Blood Rush Bellows and stuff like that. So I, yes. I still think so you she's do have very, some other powerful yeah, options. Yeah, I think she's powerful. But when it comes to the meta, we got Tier 1. There's no Tier 1.5. There's Tier 2. And there's Tier 3. Where do you see Leviah? I, I see here... who. Oh. I don't think I can say she's a tier one deck. So you cannot. And I, I'll say tier two. I don't think she's horrible, but her late game is just so bad that you can't, you can't place her in tier one. I think so. I, I agree. She's got a very strong mid game, and who knows? There could be something where you can build it interestingly enough to keep that blood debt at bay. So we both agree. We think she's a tier two deck. We're both excited to try her out. If you guys have tried Leviah in either Blitz or Classic Constructed, or you are brave enough to pull it off in Sealed, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, when we review Prism, my name's Josh. And I'm John. And we'll see you in the next one.